is enjoy what you're doing. If you're a touring band, give it everything you got. You know, the fans are everything to us. So we big up our fans everywhere we go. We treat them like they're the greatest people in the world because they are. Because if it wasn't for the fans, we would not be who we are. So love what you do, enjoy what you do, and give it your best. Hello family and welcome back to my channel, Reggae Family, Rastafari Family, Rastafari Community. It is with great sadness that we announce that the lead singer of the Grammy Award winning reggae band Morgan Heritage, Peter Morgan, has died at the age of 46. Oh, it's really sad because this is a band that I grew up listening to and I love all their tunes. You know, some of the tunes include Don't Have Your Dread to Be Rasta, Down By The River, tell me how come and she's still loving me so they've got some great tunes going on so it is such a pity that he has passed on and so peter's passing was announced on sunday the february the 25th but it was not disclosed what the cause of death was and this is the statement that his family members wrote on social media to announce his passing it is out of sincere love that we share that our beloved husband, father, son and brother and lead singer Morgan Heritage, Peter Anthony Morgan has ascended today. The Morgan family wrote in a statement which was posted on social media. Ja, come and save us from ourselves because love is the only way. Our family thanks you in advance. For your overwhelming love and support and we ask your continued prayers as we go through this process we ask that you please respect our privacy during this time of healing in 2022 the family mourned the passing of his patriarch and veteran reggae singer denroy morgan who fathered 30 children Denroy's children formed several groups, including Morgan Heritage, which initially comprised Peter Morgan, Una Morgan, Roy Grants, and Luke's. Una Morgan and Luke's Morgan are now past members. It is Peter Morgan, and we're from Morgan Heritage. Now, these are our five touring tips. Yes. Number one, you gotta have a rice cooker <laughs> and a skillet. Yeah. That's to prepare your food. food. Yeah. On a daily, if not daily, at least a weekly basis where you can cook some food for yourself instead of always having to go to buy food from a fast food restaurant. That's one. Yeah, and one of the other ones is rest. Rest is like money. Big up the Gargamel because he's that's one of the biggest tips he gives. Who's the gave. Gargamel, bro? My Tipu man. <laughs> you know, he, one of the greatest tips he gave us when he took us on tour for the first time and said, rest is like money it's more important a lot of people focus so much on you know collecting money at shows but one of the biggest factors on being on tour is getting rest rest uh number three uh we buy a lot of kombucha yeah. we drink a lot of kombucha it's good for your system you know a lot of times you know our keyboard players having stomach problems and we introduce him to kombucha and he's like swearing by it where you know he doesn't get gassy if he is gassy the kombucha will kill that and you know, so kombucha is something that you constantly got to keep in your refrigerator. Um, one of the next tips I would say is be aware if you have a smartphone, the weather. Because you may be touring and do a show like we did in Vermont, and then you got to head down to New York or Washington, D.C. or Chicago, and the weather climate changes. You know, I sent home for my, my coat in Nashville. I was like, hey. It's gonna get cold, and I brought a little thin jacket, and I sent one for for um, my jacket. So be aware, stay in tune to your smartphone, and know what the weather is gonna be like, because weathers can change, and especially for lead vocalists, you can get strep throat just like that. And number five is enjoy what you're doing. If you're a touring band, give it everything you got. You know, the fans are everything to us. So we big up our fans everywhere we go treat them like they're the greatest people in the world because they are because if it wasn't for the fans we would not be who we are so love what you do enjoy what you do and give it your best morgan heritage last project was the homeland which was released in april 2023 it was described as a world music album combining the sounds of africa and jamaica 
The debut album dubbed Miracles was released back in 1994, just months after making their first appearance on the main stage at the Reggae Sunsplash Music Festival. In 2015, their album Strictly Roots spent 44 weeks on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart, peaking at number one. That album has the distinction of taking home the Grammy Award for the Best Reggae Album. Throw just like that. And number five is enjoy what you're doing. If you're a touring band, give it everything you got. You know, the fans are everything to us. So we big up our fans everywhere we go. We treat them like they're the greatest people in the world because they are. Because if it wasn't for the fans, we would not be who we are. So the group is composed of the Trinity: Peter Morgan, Gramps Morgan, and Mr. Mojo all the children of the late reggae great Raz Dean Roy Morgan. So let's talk about the latest album from Morgan Heritage before Peter's passing. So on April the 21st, 2023, Grammy Award winning reggae band Morgan Heritage dropped a new album which they called The Homeland. The Homeland album has features from East Africa and across the world from the East. The Homeland album features R&B King, um, Ottila Brown and Uganda's Eddie Kenzo. Other stars featured in the star studded 21 track collection are Shaggy, Beanie Man, Shatterwell, Ice Queen, Cleo, Alpha Blondie, Busy Signal, Capeton among others. This was the group's first album since Dean Roy Morgan's passing in 2022. This also marked a new era for Morgan Heritage as they expanded their global reach from the Caribbean to the African continent and beyond. The album was a project of rebirth from the Morgan brothers, built upon a lineage that has lasted decades and one that will continue to forge forward. Our condolences goes out to Peter Morgan's family, friends, and all his fans across the world. Thank you for such a beautiful legacy. Thank you for amazing music and may your soul rest in peace. <laughs>